Hello everyone, thanks for dropping in. If you saw my last tutorial, I gave step-by-step -step instructions on how to install a ARC Survival Ascended dedicated server uh, using a dedicated machine. This tutorial is a lot easier. We're just going to be downloading the server directly from the Steam client using a dedicated machine for the server. So what you're going to need is a copy of ARC Survival Ascended and the Steam client. You're also going to probably need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM just for the server. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Steam client. We're going to log in and we're going to make sure we're in online mode. If you check right here where it says games and software, make sure that tools is selected. Once you check that off, you should see Arc Survival Ascended dedicated server. Click that and then hit install. Once that is finished installing, we can just launch the server. Once the server started, we can close it down. We can right click on the server, hit manage, browse local files. Go to shooter game, saved, config, windows server, game user settings. So there's a couple things we're going to set in here. So under server settings, we're going to put, if you want a password for your server, we're going to add that. If you want an admin password so that nobody can then go into the console, We're also going to put our ports here. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can change the name of our server. So for this, we're just going to call it YouTube server. We also change how many players. Here is where you can set all of your multipliers. I may make another, like a short video explaining how that works and how to import it. Once we're done, we'll hit save and close it. Next we're going to do is we're going to do some port forwarding. So I'm not going to go into very much detail about port forwarding, but basically what you're going to do is open up uh, CMD as an administrator and then type ipconfig. This will show your ethernet adapters or your wireless adapters. So if you're on a wireless internet like I am, you'll see wireless LAN or whatever your card is called. And you're going to look for the IPv4 address and the default gateway. So mine's this one right here. So I'm going to open up an internet browser. And I'm going to put 192.168.2.1 into the browser. And it should bring you into your router settings. Depending on your router, you may have to search up the uh, admin password. It might be on the back of your router. But we're basically just going to be going to trying to find uh, port forwarding. And these are the ports that we're going to have open. Both UDP and TCP. So just as an example, we'll click create new rule. It's going to call it that. And I'll put my range of ports right here. And for the IP address, we're just going to use the same IP address that is shown right here. We'll hit create and then save. And that's basically all you have to do for the port forwarding. Next, you're going to want to open up Windows Defender Firewall. And we're going to make sure that our firewall is turned on. If it's green, it's turned on. Or you can click right here to turn it on. Once that's turned on, we'll just click Advanced Settings. And we're going to set up our inbound rules. So we'll click on Inbound Rules. New Rule. 
click port and we'll choose TCP and we're just going to go the same ports that we just use in our port forwarding. Just like that. Allow the connection. Make sure these are all checked. We'll just call this one Arc TCP. Click on new rule again. This time we're going to do UDP. Same thing as before. Just like that. TCP, or sorry, UDP this time. Allow the connection. Arc UDP. And that's basically all we have to do for the firewall. Now we should be all set to connect to our server. All right, once we are done the port forwarding and the firewall is open, we should have no problem connecting. So we're gonna start up the server again. And from our PC, we're gonna just gonna hit start, join game. We're gonna choose unofficial. I type in the name of our server and if you have a password make sure that this is checked also be sure to make sure that this here is set to all uh, my server is already showing because I've already tested this but yours might take a minute or so to show up so we'll just give it a minute here we're still starting up On the PC that's holding the server, you should see, it'll say your server has successfully started. Once you're ready, we'll just click on it, hit join, put in our password. And as long as your ports are forwarded properly and you have your firewall open, you should have no problem joining. Thanks anyone for watching the video. If you found this video helpful or if you were able to join, let me know in the comments if you're able to, able to join or if your friends were able to join. And if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do have plans to release a video on how to do this on Ubuntu, so stay tuned for that. Once again, thanks for watching. And have a great day.